AIS channel is going live to Florida from where Dr. Wexner, who is the director of the Digestive Disease Center at the Cleveland Clinic in Florida, USA, will give us a special lecture under the name Education and Training in Rectal Cancer Surgery in the States, in the USA. Dr. Wexner, good morning. Well, good afternoon, actually. How are you? Whenever you're ready to start. Oh, God. The, hi. The uh, lecture that um, Antonio had uh, asked me to deliver is education and training in, in colon and rectal cancer surgery in the U.S. There's been a paradigm shift over the years, and this is an area where Europe and the U.K. is clearly ahead of us in terms of, uh, uh, of training and education. And if we can go to the next slide, please, after my title slide. I, I have no disclosures for this uh, particular lecture on training and education, um, other than I participate in all of the various bodies that have created these uh, methods of, of training. Training and education in education in rectal cancer surgery, colon cancer surgery, and indeed in uh, colorectal surgery overall is a complex process in the United States that's evolved over uh, more than half a century and includes all of these various bodies who deal with surgical training, accreditation, and then subsequently maintenance of, of certification or maintenance of accreditation. Sorry, go to the next slide that says Accreditation Council for Graduate Medical Education uh, with the red ACGME logo. The ACGME is a nonprofit private organization recognized by the U.S. Department of Education, and this body is responsible for accrediting almost 9,000 residency programs in the United States and Canada, in fact, 133 specialties and subspecialties, including one of them as colorectal surgery. And at any given time, over 100,000 residents and fellows are in training in the U.S. and Canada. Next slide, please. Um, the ACGME member organizations are listed here, and these are the various stakeholders, the institutions at which residents rotate, uh, being represented by the American Hospital Association, for example, residents uh, coming from medical school, therefore the Association of American Medical Colleges and the Council of Medical Specialty Societies. You can have the next slide, please. In colorectal surgery, programs are reviewed by a residency review committee, which is one of 26 residency review committees, such as general surgery, internal medicine, colorectal surgery is another one. There's basically one for every specialty, and the physicians who participate in these reviews are appointed by the member bodies, such as, in our case, the American Society of Colorectal Surgeons, the American College of Surgeons, the American Board of Colorectal Surgery, and the like.